Yeah, so as you can see, got the goods, man. Got the goods. So we're about to get up out of here. We're going to bring these to the channel. But we are. What's good? It's your boy, Coach T, and welcome back to the Mud Talk Radio channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, because if you're in the fashion, sports, life, and culture, then you're into this channel. Let's go. We got a sneaker review for you today. It's Saturday when I recorded this video right now, so by the time you see it, it won't be Saturday, but a sneaker did just come out today. Not one that everybody been crazy about, but we're going to bring it to the channel because I think it's a dope sneaker, and I think it's pretty intriguing, so let's talk about it. So I went on a journey, man. It's like I say, it's Saturday. So with, with sneakers being, you know, available at a lot of stores nowadays, you got a lot of people entering raffles, not picking up the shoes. Look, I appreciate y'all because the sneaker vultures, we come out. You know what I'm saying? When y'all don't come pick up y'all shoes and we go and we go grab them. And, and, and that's the beauty of it, man. A lot of people, the very first store I went into, man, they, they had just about every size available at this particular shoe, uh, but they didn't have a size 12. So luckily they were able to check the stock at another location, which was not far from that store. Now I didn't even have to leave my county. I didn't even have to go to Mecklenburg County to go get these. If you know me, I'm from Charlotte, don't live in Charlotte, but Mecklenburg County is where all the malls are located, you know, a lot more stores, you know, just different things, you know, so you got more options. But I had to go to a local spot because it just made more sense. I didn't have to drive, you know. Uh, went to this spot, they had it. I went up in there, man. I'm gonna be real with you, bro. They were sitting on the shelves, man. And as a matter of fact, not only were they sitting on the shelves, but nobody was in there asking about them. There was a lot of people in there shopping, you know, it was back to school, there's all type of stuff going on, but nobody were like, hey, let me get those. You got those in my size, and I was just really, really surprised, man. I was really surprised. But your boy got them, and I'm about to bring them to you right now. So as I was on that journey today, I did notice one thing, because when I went into the store, there was a, a, a young lady at the register that was going through some kind of transaction, and it was taking a long time. So I started going around the store and kind of just documenting what I was seeing on the shelves. I immediately noticed that in the, you know, the big kids section, that there was a lot of a lot of heat still sitting. So enough about all of that. Let's talk about the real reason why you're here. As you can see, Jordan 3 box. For some of y'all, y'all might know this color. A little bit different to me, but these Air Jordan 3 retro. The colors are, is that or wood? I don't know, man. <laughs> metallic gold man i'm gonna be honest bro yeah something that maybe that's brown i don't know bro y'all let me know in the comment section because i'm not gonna act like i'm super technical and i know what's going on with this but it's it's clearly some some brown and in gold that's that's what it's saying the colorway and jordan 3 palomino i'm gonna be honest bro my initial reaction is I'm having mixed reviews right now. Mixed reviews, mixed reviews. <laughs> Let me fully turn it around, look at the top. Mixed reviews. Okay, it's a Jordan 3. Jordan 3s are super popular. They're up there with Jordan 4s. But this colorway to me is very interesting. Very interesting. The brown is something that a lot of people will look at and say, 
man, you know, brown is dope. You can actually wear this with a lot of different things, which you can. But my issue and my main concern is the materials on the shoe right now. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. It's like that hairy, I'm almost thinking this is suede. It's gotta be suede. It's gotta be suede. It just looks beat up. Like, you see that? I, I don't know. Now, does this shoe have potential? It does. And I'm gonna tell you why. Number one, the color scheme. When you look at brown, brown is something that you can really, really match well, especially with the fall coming up. I believe that this is something that you really, really could do a lot with. Um, there's not a ton of white in the shoe. As a matter of fact, there's not any white at all. Even on the sole of the shoe, it's a little bit of white. But for the most part, it's that ore wood, right? That's that's the right way to pronounce that, ore wood. And, and you, you got your gold right here on the back. You got a little bit of gold on the tongue as well. But for the most part, it's brown. And I think that brown can be dressed up in so many different ways. Um, I've seen a lot of women already online dress this shoe up really well. But as for me, outside of the materials on this shoe right here, this main material, I think this shoe was fire. I think it could have been better if it would have been leather. You know, if this part was leather, now you're talking about a next level shoe. This shoe is actually gonna be sitting for a long time on the shelves, probably until school shopping comes up because people are just scared of it. They're just looking at it like, number one, the resale value isn't high. Number two, a lot of people ain't high on it because they, they can't wrap their mind around how to actually dress this shoe up. All right, man, so both shoes in hand right now. And after just looking at it real quick, I noticed it did not come with an alternate pair of laces. I did see a really, really dope uh, lace swap already on YouTube where a guy had some almost chocolate brown laces and that was pretty dope. That was pretty fire. That's, that's the thing about this brown. It's, it's super, super neutral. You can do a lot with it. And if you know how to dress, you can take it there. But unfortunately, and I, and I, and I say this respectfully, that a lot of people that buy Jordans, um, they go, they, they they can't really dress like that. Let's just be honest, bro. Let's be honest. I mean, some people got a, a sense of style, but most people that buy them, the Jordans are the centerpiece and that's that. But when you get a pair like this that comes out, you gotta actually figure out how to dress. And if you need some tips, if you need some advice, you come over to Mud Talk Radio, I promise you I'm gonna look out for you. But both shoes in hand, let me know what you think. Again, that gold stands out right there on the tongue. It's gonna be hot for a while, so a lot of people are gonna be wearing these with shorts. I personally could do them with shorts. I could do them with jeans. It's a Jordan 3, man. You can do it different ways, man. You can throw on some dress pants with these jokers. It is a fire, fire shoe. If I can put this material out of my mind, I would get this shoe. Forget about it. I'm gonna get into the rating in just a second. So let's get into the pricing of the shoe. Retail price for this shoe was $200. Um, I think that, you know, most of the joints that have come out recently, man, you should be able to get them for retail if you try hard enough. This shoe, you definitely gonna be able to get for retail. I seen on GOAT earlier where it was around like 273, so it did have a little bit of traction, but based on today, I can see the, I can see the stock plummeting on the shoe, but very inter it's interesting to me because I think a colorway like this probably won't come out for a while. So if you hold on to it, you might have an opportunity to actually take advantage of a rise in, in the price over time. Not saying it's gonna happen right away. It might even happen by the end of the year, but it's something if you could, you know, grab a few pairs, hold on to them. If you can do that, then I, I can see this shoe being worth, you know, grabbing and, you know, doubling up or tripling up. But for right now, $200 retail price. If you're going on the aftermarket, you wasting your time. You do what you want to do, but please go to your local sneaker store and just grab these if you want them because they're sitting on the shelf and they're waiting for you to come and grab them. Hey man, so the Jordan 3 Palomino has been a sneaker that, you know, just, just looking around, you know, prior to this, this sneaker being released, you know, it had a lot of hype at one point in time. And I'm not saying like a ton of hype, but there were a lot of people saying that this was a dope shoe. I seen some people that were excited, some people that I follow, they were super excited about this shoe. And now that they're out, everybody wants to post videos about them being bricks and this, that, and the third. Listen, again, I'm not a sneakerhead. I'm not into it for the reselling. I don't knock people that resell. You do what you do. That, that's, your, that's your hustle, you, you do what you do. 
But for me, when I buy a shoe, it's strictly uh, just based on fashion. It's strictly based on what I could see myself doing with the sneaker, not based on what other people think or uh, uh, how much this sneaker is gonna cost. It's not a flex to me because in real life, the flex for me is has nothing to do with sneakers. You know what I'm saying? But I do love fashion, so that's why I bring this type of stuff to the channel. Tell me what you think about the Jordan 3 Palomino. Is it a sneaker that you would rock? Do you think it's worth the $200 price tag? Are you gonna wait and wait for them to drop and go under retail and go out there and try to grab them? If you got kids that are going back to school, do you think this would be a dope back to school shoe? Do you think that you could dress this shoe up? I need to know how y'all feel about the Jordan 3 Palomino. I personally like it. I don't have nothing against it. I think that um, I'm gonna debate whether I wanna hold on to them or not. But we're gonna see in the coming days. But as always, man, I appreciate y'all for pulling up on the channel. If you haven't already, man, please go to the link in the description box. Go to Raw Melon Apparel on Instagram. Go to uh, uh, Mud Talk Radio on Instagram. Go to go to rawmelonclothing.com, a new website, man. And go ahead and go shop with your boy, man. Support the channel. But as always, man, you know the saying, man, love is free, hate costs. You've been rocking with Mud Talk with your boy, Coach T. I'm out. Uh, subscribe, you, like, comment, hit that uh, post notification. Oh yeah, you Yo. heard it first. Oh, yeah. Go hit the like, go subscribe, go all that. All that, Just man. Like that.